this has definitely been on my bucket list. So it's a little ways to drive out of the way for this one, but um, I thought I was going to try it. How's it going? Yeah, how are you? No, doing great. Thank you. You too. A little skinny here. Hey everybody, it's DHB, the Wi-Fi guy. And the cross uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. This was always on my bucket list, but it was always a little bit out of the way or inconvenient. But um, yeah, this weekend I did a rural internet job. It was about an hour northeast of Richmond, out in the middle of nowhere. So I understand why people like to live out there. I mean, it's just great. The, the only problem is there's just not access to high-speed internet. So they have a cellular system and get through one of the local providers and um, the speeds just aren't that great. So I was able to uh, show up and basically demonstrate streaming Netflix and you know, just you know, observing the, the camera, you know, the Orlo and Blake cameras right out of my truck. So um, yeah, that looks very promising as far as you know, delivering you know, higher speeds at that location. So um, yeah, it's a big step to open up the, the Richmond area, the Richmond office, and, and just kind of have a bigger presence down here. Um, but I tell you what, I mean, this, this is super cool. I mean, just the experience of, you know, going through the, the tunnel and the bridge. I mean, it's, yeah, I've been over the Bay Bridge a hundred times at least, you know, but um, this Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, this is my, my first time. I'm, I'm really excited about it. So I um, thought I'd, I'd share that with you today, but um yeah, so um, I made the loop from Richmond over here. I'm up here uh, visiting my son at Salisbury and then on the way back home. So I'm making a, a really big loop today. So um, anyway, it's just really cool. Um, yeah, it is a long bridge. Oh my goodness, it's long. Wow. So I think this is another tunnel. I've already been through one tunnel. So um, I think I got another one coming up here. This is just amazing. Like I've, I've seen shows and you know, documentaries on the tunnel or the, or the bridge tunnel, but I've never actually been through it. So I'm at the scenic overlook at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. So I just pulled out my Orlo camera, and um, you know, why not capture it for everybody? I mean, it's really cool. Like I mean, that that tunnel or the bridge tunnel was amazing to go over and go through. It. So, I mean, it's just beautiful down here. I wish I had more time. and um, I mean, I could stay here all day. So, it's really cool stuff. Man, that was really neat. So, um, back on the road. Trek it up to Salisbury. Kind of making a big loop here. Oh, look at that dog. Wow. Isn't that something? not a whole lot of traffic down here, that's for sure. This is so exciting. It's the same problem everywhere. So, I mean, that, that's why I, I really want to get out here in the rural areas and prove that cellular is a great option. So, if you don't have access to high-speed internet, don't go with the less than satisfactory you know, satellite services or DSL, like, I mean, there, there's a huge opportunity for cellular internet. So, um, like, I, I definitely proved it this weekend when I showed up and I started streaming Netflix right out of the Wi-Fi guy. I mean, it's, you know, people are struggling with, you know, six megabits per second down, and, like, I, I show up and, you know, I'm getting 45 out of my truck in the same location, so, 
I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So, I mean, if you're struggling with high-speed internet, like, I've, I've not been shut down yet. So, it's, you know, cellular is a great option. 